Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to create a composite band using the Sentinel-2 dataset. If you want to know how we can able to download the Sentinel-2 bands or Sentinel-2 datasets, just need to go to visit our channel. In there, I have already uploaded a video how to download the Sentinel-2 dataset from Copernicus Open Access Hub. So you just need to go and visit our channel. There you will get many more videos. So after that, you just need to come here after downloading the data sets. So you will get this two different kinds of data sets you will get. Okay. What are the data set you want to mosaic? You will get the two different kinds of data set. And I'm interested to create a mosaic from these two different data set. So first thing is that we need to create a composite band or build virtual raster in QGIS. Okay. So here I have already created a composite band for one scan. For another scan, I will do the same thing. Like I will uncheck this. So I have this four different tiles. Okay, I have these four different bands. So what I'm interested, I'm interested to create a one single composite band from all these four different bands. Okay, so I have band two, band three, band four, and band eight. So if you'll see in the band combination, there is a band two is 10 meter, band three is 10 meter, band four is 10 meter. And also if you'll see the band eight is 10 meter. So I have taken the band two, three, four and band number eight to create a built virtual raster. So you just need to go to layer, add layer and add raster layer. From here, we can add these bands. Okay, so you will get this just i will go back okay so in the starting you will see this kind of this kind of data so you just need to go to any data set which you want to create a band composite so after that you just need to go granules in that l1c then image data and you will see these different kinds of bands there so from that i have selected band 2 and three band four and band eight. So using this band, we can create a composite band. Okay. So I have, I have already added here. So what I will do, I will just need to go to raster, then miscellaneous and build virtual raster option is there. So click here. Okay. So what I will do this band, I will remove from here. Okay. So just go to raster, miscellaneous and build virtual raster. So from here, we can add band two, band three, band four, band five, band two, band three, band four, and band eight. Just click on okay. So where you want to save this and just, this is the important place each input file into separate bands and just go to save this in your desired location. So I'm saving here the band composite. It is composite two. And just click on the save and just click on the run option. So it is saying that it is finished successfully. So I'll just close it. I will just uncheck this and you will see the composite band is ready here. So I have two different composite bands, band one and band two, okay. So if we'll right click, go to properties, we can change the band combination like four, three, two, apply and okay. We can do the same thing with the composite one also, four, three, two. So this is the false color composite, okay. So now I'm interested to mosaic this, okay. So how we can able to mosaic or how we can able to merge these two different data sets. So for that, we just need to go to raster. Okay. In the raster, there is a miscellaneous and again, there is a merge tool is there. So in this merge tool, we need to add this both the composite one and composite two here. So just click here, select the composite one and composite two, click on okay. Then after that, where you want to save your output location, you can provide a desired location. I will just go by default and I will just click on the run. Okay. 
okay so merging is done i'll just close it i'll just uncheck this and now you will see we have two different band composite previously this one and below this one but now after merging it you will see only one single composite band so now we can go to properties just select a composite band four three two apply okay so this way we can very easily we can mosaic two different band composite of sentinel data set using the qgis so if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment sections thank you Thank you.